Hi, Dr. D. Oh, hi, kids. What's up? We want to become great inventors, but we don't know where to start. Can you help us? How do you get an idea for an invention? Hold on. Take this one step at a time. The first thing you have to understand is the invention process. Is that anything like the scientific method? Very similar. Scientific method, you start by identifying or recognizing a problem. In the invention process, you begin by identifying a need or want. A list of things that annoy or frustrate you is a starting point. You might call this a bug list. I know lots of things that bug me, like my sister. Let's take an example that you're bugged because you're always losing your portable CD player. The next step in the invention process is to think of solutions to the need or want. That sounds a lot like the second step in the scientific method. An idea would be to paint the CD player a bright color so that you can see it easily. I like the idea to have it beep when you clap your hands. You're really getting into this now. Once an inventor has a list of possible solutions, the next step is to evaluate each one to decide which one to develop. Maybe we could choose the cheapest one. Or maybe we could choose the one that we can make by ourselves. Yes, once you have standards or criteria, it helps to be able to judge amongst the possible solutions. You can then do research to narrow it down. The next step is to make a model and test it. That's like testing the hypothesis. That's right. So if we use the bright color, we have to test it to find out which color worked best. I'll bet inventors alter and improve their models as they test it. Just like we have to modify our hypothesis if it doesn't match the data. You guys are really getting good at this. Make sure you keep an accurate record of your entire process. It's really important. It's like keeping a science journal. Well, I saw a design log on the NASA Wi Files website. It should help us keep track of our ideas and progress. I'm sure we'll find plenty of cool ideas to put on our bug list or our knee list. Wait a minute, something that I really need. I'm trying to find a really great way to show the scientific principle of inertia. Isn't inertia something about objects at rest staying at rest? Yes, that's pretty good. It also explains that objects in motion remain in motion unless a force acts upon them. I've always used a bowling ball to explain the part about staying in motion, but I want to find a more exciting way to do it. How can we help? Why don't you think of some possibilities, and we'll talk about it later. Hey, I've got an idea for you. Why don't you check out the National Gallery of Young Inventors and see who was inducted into the Inventors Hall of Fame this year? Let's use your computer, Dr. D. Go right ahead. I read about someone named Lindsay Clement from Longview, Texas. She's being inducted into the National Gallery of Young Inventors. Let's contact her and ask her about her invention. Hi, you must be Lindsay Clement. We're the Treehouse Detectives, and we wanted to ask you about your invention. Sure. Exactly what does your invention do? This is a gumball machine. It helps pick up sweet gumballs in my backyard. How does it work? As you push the machine forward, these mesh wheels grab the gumballs and carry them around to the front, where they are collected in this basket. How did you come up with the idea for your invention? Well, I was at the driving range with my dad, and I saw the golf ball collector cart picking up the golf balls. And I figured if it worked for golf balls, why couldn't it work for gumballs? That's cool. What did you do first? Well, first I started drawing to see what it might look like, and then I started building. What was the most difficult part? Probably finding something that would actually pick up the gumballs. I experimented with lots of different materials until I finally came up with wire mesh. That's great. We're trying to make our own invention. Do you have any advice? If you have anything that you think might solve a problem or help fix something, stick with it. Be willing to try new things if they don't work and design and test your ideas, you really have nothing to lose. Especially when you end up being inducted into the National Gallery of Young Inventors. Maybe we'll be there one day. What an honor. Congratulations.